Hello, it's Gem Games here once again. You guys have been asking me to create these double doors that you can open with the keycard, like this, by the keycard scanner. So yeah, let's get started. First, let's go to the interactables folder. And here we have this test actor. Let's uh, duplicate it. And let's call it double doors. Let's open it. And now here on the double doors, when it opens, okay, let's move this next to the first person map. Uh, let's go to the viewport. So we have this cube here. So what we want to do is we want to unlock this lock. We want to leave the X scale to 1, Y scale to 0 0.05, and set scale to 2. Now it looks more like a door. Now, what we want to do, we want to set this set location to 100, like this, and X location to minus 50. Now let's rename this component to be door left. Okay. Uh, let's duplicate it and let's call it door right. Now let's move this door right to positive 50 on the X location, like this. So, the next thing is that we want to go to the event graph and we want to delete everything from here. And now we want to go to the class settings, yeah. And here, in Heritage Interfaces, we want to add that um, electricity. So now we have this Activate uh, function here. Now let's double-click that, create an event on that. And now, under that, let's create a custom event, or you can just create this code straight from here, but I like to create a new event for all this, so we can call it from other places if we need. So let's create a custom event and let's call this custom event open now from the event activate let's just call that open custom event and what we want to do here is first we actually want to play a sound so let's right click and play sound at location this will basically play a 3d sound on the level at the location you want to set here. So what we want to do, we want to get the default scene root and we want to get from it and we want to get world location like this. Let's select these and align them with the queue. Let's connect this to here. So now basically it will play the uh, sound at the location of this actor. Okay, I don't have any sound uh, effects right now. So let's just leave it this but here you can select the sound effect you that you want to play so let's actually add a comment here so we can remember it so door opening sound like that and after that what we want to do is we want to create a timeline so timeline and we want to play from start and let's rename this timeline okay actually i don't want to do it like that let's go back to the end graph select and press f2 now let's call this open underscore TL. And TL stands for timeline. Now let's double click to open it. And let's change the length to whatever we want. So let's set it to, for example, one. Let's add a new flow track. And let's add a key to the time zero and value zero mark. Let's add another key to the time one and value one mark. Let's click on the first key and let's set it to auto so it will smooth this curve out. Let's compile, say we can close this timeline. And now here, what we want to do, we want to first get the left door. And we want to set relative location from the update, like this. Now from the new location, we want to get a lerp vector node. And now we want to get the new track, which 
is basically the alpha, was connected to the alpha like that. Now, let's go back to the wheel port, to the door left, and let's copy this transform location. So right click and copy like that. Let's go to the here and let's paste it here. Actually, can we paste it? Actually, we cannot do it like that. I didn't know about that. So, uh, door left is minus 50 on the X, zero on the Y, and 100 on the Z. So, minus 50, zero, and 100. Okay. And the P location will be where the door will end uh, when this timeline has played. So, it will be, is this on the X scale, it's one, so it's 100 units. So we want to move it 100 units to this way. So to the minus 50. Okay, so when it's the minus 50, it will be at the right position. Okay. So this will be minus 50, Y will be zero and Z will be the 100 like before. And the next thing, we want to actually copy all this paste it after the first one. Uh, let's change the door left reference to the door right. Like this. And let's get the alpha, let's add a reroute to here. Uh, let's get it and connect to here and let's add another reroute so it looks a little bit cleaner. And now these values will be a little bit different. They will actually be only thing we have to change is the location X. So it will be positive 50 instead of negative 50. So let's set it to positive 50. And the P will be positive 150, like that. Okay? And yeah, that's basically it. So we don't actually need this can interact variable on this uh, actor because we will leave the door open after that and we will call this uh, open event on the event activate so we are basically using another actor in this case it will be the key card reader to uh, call this event so we don't need to can interact but we can actually just leave it there it doesn't matter and yeah let's leave it to false okay now let's compile let's save and let's close this now what we want to do is we want to create that keycard scanner or reader or whatever. So for that, what we want to do, let's actually just duplicate this lock. And let's call this keycard scanner or whatever. Let's open it. And let's move it next to the first person map. Let's go to the viewport. And here, what we want to do, let's actually delete everything under the main pivot. Actually, it will only delete one at a time, but yeah, let's delete everything. So we only have this default scene root. And here under the default scene root, let's add a, you can add your uh, static mesh or whatever you want to use, but I will just add a cube because I don't have any mesh for that right now. And this cube, I will rename it to be scanner. And I will set the scale values to be uh, 0.3 on the X and on the Y it's, it will be 0 0.025 and on the set it will be 0 0.3 so it will be this little like uh, screen thing okay uh, compile and save and let's go to the event graph let's delete both of these events under here let's leave only the event interact like this and here on the event interact, what we want to do, we want to delete this open lock, and this cannot open from here. Uh, we want to replace them with the play sound 2D nodes. So from the true, if we can open, uh, like, scan the reader, if we have the uh, needed item, then we want to play sound 2D. We don't want to play it at location because we want to, it to be like uh, to play just on our 
uh, viewports on our screen. Okay, let's add a comment and uh, let's call it accept sound like this. And you can select your sound effect. I don't have any, so yep. Yeah. Let's copy this node and this comment box and let's paste it here. Oh, and for the false, we want to call to decline sound. And I don't have that either, but it doesn't matter. You can add here whatever you want. And from the after the accept, we want to set the can interact to false. And then we want to get our target actor. And we want to call the activate. Okay. Compile, let's save. And now let's create the key card. So let's get the key and let's duplicate it. And let's call it key card. Let's open it. And here again on the viewport, you can use whatever like mesh you want, but I don't have any. So I will just add a little cube. So first I want to move this interact collision to the default scene root, otherwise it will uh, delete that also when I delete this key. I think, I'm not actually sure, but yeah. Let's move it there just to be sure. Let's delete this key. Let's add a cube. Let's call this key card. And these values, I want to set the scale to be 0.2, and 0.2 on the Y. And on this set, it's, it should be like, 0 0.025. So it's like a little card. Now I want to set this material to like first person projectile material maybe. Okay, now it's yellow. Now let's go to the event graph and we don't actually have to do anything here. So let's compile, save, uh, let's just close this. Let's close this. And here on the level, let's add the double doors. Let's rotate them 90 degrees. And I think we want to set these locations here. Uh, location X to be 17050, so it fits the line perfectly, perfectly like that, you know. And uh, here on the Y, let's set it to, to even number, so 1200, like 1200, like that. So it's there. Now let's get this. Well, let's actually set the snapping to 100. It's much easier. Let's, so let's select this wall. Let's co press Ctrl and D, uh, W, and now we can move it to here. Okay. Now let's actually scale it to be a little bit bigger so it goes there. Now we want to get the keycard scanner. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Let's move it here. And actually, I want to set the snapping to 10 maybe, so I can see. And did I rotate it incorrectly? Yes, I did. So now it's a lot better, but it's still rotated incorrectly. Okay, it's not better. <laughs> so I set the snapping to 5 maybe. Yeah, it's a lot better. Now let's get the keyboard and let's just move it to the ground. So, when we save all and we play, we can see we have this, but we cannot interact. We cannot interact with the door. We can get the key card, but actually we didn't set the values yet. So, oh, my engine crashed. So, oh, not crashed, but glitched. So I will reopen this or restart. So what I forgot about was I have to set this scanner we want to set the target actor, which will be the double doors. So let's click on the scanner. Let's select the target actor from here. And it will be the double doors. This will be the actor that it will call to activate a function or event. Uh, item that opens door. Let's call this like key card one. Okay, not one and that uh, symbol, only key card one like that. And now let's select the key card. We have to set the key card name to the same. So key card one. Okay, 
Now when we save and we go to play, you can see we can pick up the key card and we can see here we have the key card one. Now when we activate from this, you can see the double doors open. Okay, but now you can see we have this little glitch with the doors. They are basically, we can see them through the wall. So how we can fix that? If you have this same exact setup here, so the walls are like that, then what you want to do, you want to just go to the double doors and you want to set this B values on both of these, on the X to be like minus 151 maybe, and here positive 151. So it will go one unit uh, inside the wall. So now when we compile, save and play, You can see they go inside the wall and you can't see them anymore. Or what you can do if you want, you can set these to like one, let's set them to like 48, and uh, one 48 positive. So now you can see them a little bit after you open the doors. So like this, you can see them there. So uh, I showed you the both options and you can choose what you want to do. But yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.